everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for a performance marketing agency. So I am an owner of a performance marketing agency and I'm promoting my business with the help of Facebook lead ads. And what I want is that every time a new lead is generated in my Facebook lead ads, automatically all the details of that lead should be added into my Google Sheets. For that, we need to create an automation between Facebook lead ads and Google Sheets with the help of Pabli Connect. In Pabli Connect, to start an automation process, we need triggers and actions. In this process, my trigger application is going to be Facebook lead ads and my action application is going to be Google Sheets. If you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for your performance marketing agency. So I am an owner of a performance marketing agency that is Peak Pulse Marketing and I am promoting my business with the help of Facebook lead ads. And what I want is that every time a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically all the details of the lead should be added into my Google Sheets. For that, we need to create an automation between Facebook lead ads and Google Sheets with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account. If you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. Then you can see the All Pabli Apps window in front of you, in which you can see the five functions of Pabli, from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then on a new tab, you can see the dashboard of Pabli Connect. To start an automation process, we need to create a workflow. For that, we are going to click on the top right corner button right over here, Create Workflow. Then a new dialog box is going to appear in front of you, which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as Peak Pulse Marketing Facebook Lead Ads to Google Sheets. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. If you want, you can give a name to your workflow as per your requirement. After that, it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which through this drop down, I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. So I'm going to select my folder as Facebook Lead to Google Sheets Automation. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder, we are going to click on Create to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of Peak Pulse Marketing Facebook Lead Ads to Google Sheets and there are two windows in front of you. One says Trigger, another says Action. Trigger and Action are the two most important steps of an automation process because the process depends on these two steps. Over here Trigger says when this happens and Action says do this. That means our action is response towards our trigger. Whenever the trigger is going to happen, action is going to follow the command. So in the automation process, there can be only one trigger but various action steps. Firstly, we are going to set up our trigger step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here. It is asking for us to choose our trigger application. In the introduction, I've already told you that a trigger application is going to be Facebook lead ads. So I'm going to select Facebook lead ads. After that, it is asking for us to select a trigger event. So our trigger event is going to be new lead instead. This means that every time a new lead will be generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically and instantly, Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. After selecting the trigger application and the event, we are going to click on connect in order to connect Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. Then a new window is going to appear in front of you on which you have to click on add new connection. But if you have an existing connection, you can choose this option. After selecting add new connection, we are going to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. As you can see, we have successfully authorized Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. Firstly, it is asking for us to select a page. So in my Facebook account, I've already created a business page in the name of Peak Pulse Marketing and I will be promoting Facebook lead ads with the help of this page. So in my Pabli Connect, for the page, I'm going to select it as Peak Pulse Marketing. After selecting the page, it is asking for us to select lead gen form. So I have created a lead gen form in the name of Facebook lead ads form. If you want to learn how to create your own form, you can click right over here and you can create your own form. For the form, I am going to select it as Facebook lead ads form. After selecting the page and the lead gen form, we are going to click on save and send test request. 
as you can see over here it is saying waiting for a webhook response so now what i'm going to do is we are going to generate a test lead so that public connect will capture the response how are we going to generate the test lead follow the steps open a new tab on the bar you have to search for meta for developers after that we have to open meta for developers as you can see, this is the website of Meta for Developers. On the top, we have to click on more right over here. Then we have to select tools right over here. Then you can see over here, it says developer tools. We are going to scroll down and over here, it says lead ads RTU debug tool. We are going to select this. So this is the lead ads testing tool. And we are going to generate a test lead with the help of this tool. Firstly, it is asking for us to select a page. So for the page, I'm going to select it as Peak Pulse Marketing. After selecting the page, it is asking for us to select the form. So for the form, we are going to select it as Facebook Lead Ads Form. After selecting the page and the form, we are going to click on Preview Form. As you can see, this is the form that I've created. It is asking for the first name, last name, email and the phone number. So we are going to fill in all the details. Firstly, for the first name, I'm going to write it as Smart. Next, for the last name, I'm going to write it as user1234 then for the email i'm going to write it as smartuser1234 at the rate pablitudes.com lastly for the phone number a dummy mobile number after filling all the details we are going to click on next and then on submit to submit the form as over here it says your test lead has been sent so now i'm going to open my public connect and we are going to check whether a new response is captured by public connect or not for that we are going to open the public connect I'm going to scroll down and yes, as you can see, a response is captured in Public Connect. For first name, it says smart, last name as user1234. For the email as smartuser1234 at the rate publitudes.com. And lastly, for the phone number, a dummy mobile number and all the other details. So this means that we have successfully connected Facebook lead ads with Public Connect. After setting up our trigger step, we need to set up our action step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here as it is asking for us to choose our action application. In the introduction, I've already told you that our action application is going to be Google Sheets. So I'm going to select Google Sheets. After that, it is asking for us to select our action event and our action event is going to be at new row. This means that every time a new lead will be generated with the help of Facebook lead ads and Public Connect captures the response, automatically the data of that response should be transferred into a Google Sheets and a new row should be added. After selecting the action application and the action event, we are going to click on connect to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. Then a new window is going to appear in front of you on which you have to click on add new connection. But if you have an existing connection, you can choose this option. After clicking on add new connection, it is asking for us to sign in with Google. We are going to click on it. Then a new window is going to appear in front of you, which is asking for a permission. So I'm going to click on allow as this is a safe process and my data is perfectly safe with Pabli Connect. As you can see, we are successfully authorized Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. After that, it is asking for us to select a spreadsheet. So in my Google Sheet, I have created a spreadsheet in the name of People's Marketing Customers Data. And I want that every time a new lead will be generated with the help of Facebook lead ads. In this spreadsheet, all the data should be captured. For that, we are going to select our spreadsheet as People's Marketing Customers Data. After selecting the spreadsheet, it is asking for us to select a sheet. So in my spreadsheet, I've created a single sheet in the name of sheet1. So for the sheet, I'm going to select it as sheet1. But if you have created multiple sheets in your spreadsheet, you can choose a specific one in which you want to save your customer's data in. After selecting the spreadsheet and the sheet, it is asking for the first name, last name, email and the phone number. So in my spreadsheet, I've created four fields in the name of first name, last name, email and the phone number. And I want that anytime a new lead will be generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, all the data should be transferred under these four fields. For that, what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So how are we going to do that? We have to click right over here. As you can see, this is the response from our previous trigger step. We have to click on this arrow right over here. And you can see this is the data from our previous response. 
it is asking for the first name so we are going to map the data for the first name as we have mapped this data the data over here has now become dynamic that means every time a new response is going to be captured in our previous trigger step automatically the data over here will be updated according to the new response captured after that it is asking for the last name we are going to map the data again click right over here as you can see this is the previous response click on this arrow right over here it is asking for the last name we are going to map the data for the last name after that it is asking for the email we are going to map the data again click over here click on this arrow over here as you want the data for the email map the data lastly for the phone number we are going to map the data again click right over here click over here map the data for the phone number as we have completed mapping all the data all the data right over here has become dynamic that means every time a new response will be captured in our trigger step automatically according to the new response the data over here will be updated after filling all the details we are going to click on save and send test request as over here you can see a positive response is received so i'm going to go back to my spreadsheet and i'm going to check whether a new row is added with all the details with the lead was generated or not uh, for that i'm going to open my google spreadsheet and yes as you can see the data is successfully transferred from the new lead generated with the help of facebook lead ads into my google spreadsheet for the first name it says smart for the last name as user1234 for the email as smartuser1234 @babletudes.com lastly for the phone number a dummy mobile number so this means that we have successfully connected facebook lead ads with google sheets but now for all of you guys i'm going to generate another test lead to check whether the data of that lead will be transferred into my google sheets automatically or not for that i'm going to open the lead ads testing tool as you can see this is the lead ads testing tool over here it says you can create one lead per form you'll need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one so as i have created a test lead with the help of this form already so i'm going to delete the existing lead by clicking on delete lead right over here as you can see it says your lead has been deleted now i'm going to refresh the page it is very important to first delete the lead and then refresh the page because if you are not going to do that you will not be able to generate another test lead with the help of this form because you can only create one lead per form after deleting the lead and refreshing the page we have to select the page in the form so for the page i am going to select it as peak pulse marketing and for the form i am going to select it as facebook lead ads form after selecting the page in the form click on preview form As you can see this is the form that I've created it is asking for all these details so I'm going to fill in all the details so as you can see I filled all the details for the first name as dummy last name as account 246 for the email as dummy account 246 at the rate publicuse.com and lastly for the phone number a dummy mobile number after filling all the details we are going to click on next and then on submit to submit the form As you can see over here it says your test lead has been sent so now I'm going to open my Google spreadsheet and I'm going to check whether the data of the lead that we have generated right now is transferred into my Google sheets or not for that I'm going to open my Google spreadsheet and yes as you can see the data is successfully transferred in our Google sheets from the lead generated with the help of Facebook lead ads into my Google sheets for the first name it says dummy for the last name as account 246 for the email as dummy account 246 at the rate publicuse.com and lastly for the phone number a dummy mobile number so this means that we have successfully connected Facebook lead ads with Google sheets So now to sum up till now what we have done I am a business owner of a performance marketing agency that is Peak Pulse Marketing and I am promoting my business with the help of Facebook lead ads and what I wanted was that every time a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads automatically all the data of that lead should be transferred into my Google Sheets and a new row should be added So this is how we create an automation between Facebook lead ads and Google Sheets with the help of Pabli Connect If you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video so not just with these applications you can automate more applications with the help of pabli connect if you have any doubt you can send us email on support@pabli.com if you have any queries you can ask us queries on forum.pabli.com and if you have any questions regarding the pabli connect pricing you can check out this link if you like this video please subscribe to our channel